What is this? Red mammoth? Let's see what it is. Hello guys. So, I have received the soft luggage from Red Mammoth. Moto PL, but that's not the correct address. The Mammoth, Red Mammoth there. <coughs> so, uh, let's see what's in the box. Need to be careful not to cut the bags. There are, after all, soft luggage. Ooh, nice. I ordered this plate for the exhaust. I don't know if I will need it, but the it's supposed to go on the bike somewhere just to protect it from the heat. I will see if I need it later. And then here is this this should be the top bag I think yeah the velcro I think it's attached to the top in some way seems nice here we have the side bags oh they are actually they're actually bigger than I expected than I was I thought I saw in the picture. Okay, nice. Seems really tough also. And of course waterproof. The other side. And here we have the auxiliary bags. One liter. One small. That should be like a I don't know, half a liter maybe. Here is the, oh, that's the ter thermal insert to keep my drinks cool a little longer. Two liters. So, feels really nice. And of course, the first aid kit. No, not the kit, just the bag. I put the kit in it. Very nice. Here is oh this is this is the base. Okay. So this and here is oh yeah. Here is the tent pole bag. Okay. This is the top that goes on the bike. Let's see how that hmm. I wonder what way it goes. It should be this way, right? Well, I have no, it must be that way. No, it's not. <laughs> I will check that out later. <coughs> and here are the, the holsters, you might call them, where you put the bags in. Feels, uh, feels really tough. It's, it should resist some damage if I fall and everything. Oh yeah, and here's the... the where is that? Yeah, there's the... The, uh, the cords. They should go in this, I suppose. Yep, seems like everything I ordered is with it. I bought a couple of extra, I bought four of these. I don't know if I will need them all, but the first aid kit of course, and yeah, I will see when I plan my trip. Is this a sticker? 
Yeah, it is. Nice. Yeah, so that's it. All this was about 520 euros, I think. I was looking. I was looking at the Moscow Moto Reckless 80. This is also 80 liters total. And I was looking at the Moscow Moto, which was 799 euros, and that included two auxiliary bags. And then I had to buy two more auxiliary bags to uh, to get the same equipment, if you might say. The tent pole bag, I think it's included in the Moscow Moto mad, uh, Moscow Moto also. I don't, I haven't tested the Moscow Moto, so I can't say if anything is better or worse. But the price at 799 plus a little extra and shipping and everything, I couldn't, I couldn't justify that. It was just too expensive. So I found this, or actually I was tipped by a guy on. Uh, I don't know what site on Facebook it was, but somewhere he tipped me with this and I looked at it and it seemed really nice and everything, so I decided to buy it. I was also looking at Tusk, I think Tusk, uh, I don't know what it was, but it was Tusk at least. But uh, it's a bit hard to get your hands on it on in Europe. There might be somewhere on eBay or uh, something, but uh, well. I decided to go for this. So now I'm gonna put it together and see how it looks on the bike and maybe I do some test packing to see what it fit, fits in it. So uh, bye for now! So there we go, all put together and hopefully I did it the right way. I, uh, it's attached here with 10 screws, five on each side. I put some Loctite on them. Blue one, two, four, three. I don't know if it's needed, but I did it anyway, just to be sure. And uh, well, now I'm gonna put it on the bike to see how it fits. And since I'm not an octopus, I need to uh, put the camera away and need both hands to do it. So, the bags are mounted on the bike. It's, uh, it's sitting really good there with the straps. The BMW has... I get a bit of a gap in between here because of the handlebars on the BMW. But, uh, well, since they're very nice and sturdy, it doesn't matter. And it looks like I won't be needing the heat shield. There's a big gap over there too. And uh, yeah, this should be nice. I'm gonna pack up some things in the bags and see how it is. So, uh, I uh, will get back to you when it's done. So, there I have done a little test packing and uh, so far everything seems good. I didn't do that side yet, it's just for a test. But uh, yeah, it seems really good. A lot of uh, loops and things to strap stuff to. And uh, well, as you can see, I always bring my uh, tar and asphalt remover when I go out in the woods and while camping. And uh, in here I should have a bottle, but now I have one liter of oil. And that could actually be used when you go out, but not for me. I have just put them there and haven't strapped them all together right. Uh, yeah. Really sturdy. Here's the first aid kit, which is now 
a little bottle of water. One thing I could, uh, well, not complain, that would be the wrong word, but the tent pole bag is a little bit short. It depends on what kind of tent you have, of course, but uh, you can see it's just enough to be there. But still, fits really good there and then all secure. As you can see the bags are attached with these uh, easy to use strap things. You know they work and there's no problem with it and they won't break hopefully. And also down there you can attach it to the foot pegs. Some other bikes have done it attachment down there. Uh, two on each side. So that's good. <coughs> and here you have the here you have the the straps when you put the two together like this over the top bag. So I have uh, taken everything off the bike again and as you can see this is all that came with it and uh, as I mentioned this and this and this and this is extra and this is extra. All these bags and the telt pole bag and this was included in the base price which was I will put it on the video because I can't remember it and uh, as I said I was uh, thinking of the Moscow Moto Reckless 80 at first and uh, when I started looking at this it was the end of uh, last well not last year it's past new year so in the end of the year 2020 it was uh, I believe it was like 550 euros or something like that I'm not sure but I think it was something like that or maybe a little bit more and uh, now they are as I said 799 euros and that's only with two pockets and I think that's I mean it is a bit too much for me at least I'm sure they are very good and everything but uh, if you can get something like this I will say go for it I choose that it was uh, I believe it all was seven five hundred and twenty euros about more or less and that was with all four bags and also that plate which I will not be using and uh, also looked a little bit at Tusk, as I said, and that is, I believe that is about the same price as this one. I'm not sure, but uh, maybe I can put that in the, in the video as well. So for now, I would say I'm very happy with it. And uh, of course, I haven't test ridden it yet, so maybe I will get back about that in the summer when everything is packed and I have done some trail riding with it. But for now, I am happy, as I said. Yeah, so that's it. Uh, this, well, this is my sleeping bag. I'm gonna take that inside and uh, take it out of the bag and give it some air. And damn, hmm. I need to wash my bike. And right now I am waiting for summer. So yeah. That's it, over and out.